So uh, I am uh, not sure. This is not my my proudest admission. Uh, I've not dated a lot of people, so I have no idea if this is a trend or not. There, there was this one girl that I dated, and when she was um, she was considering breaking up with me, but she eventually did, and um, she she made a list. She was a consultant, uh, and this was a long time ago because she was a consultant at Anderson Consulting before they screwed up Enron, and then imploded. Um, but she was a consultant, and this is what she did. She would make pro and con lists to, uh, to help her with decisions. So the decision she needed to make was whether to break up with me or not. So she made a list, and um, I have no idea if it is common to share the list with the guy. But uh, I did get a chance to see the list that as an impressionable young man, this is not the sort of thing that you forget easily. Um, so on the, uh, on the pros side of, uh, of staying with me was, um, was written generous in bed. And I thought that was a very carefully chosen word. I think there's something to that. Um, and on the con side was not gregarious. And that was a pretty carefully chosen word. And I'm telling you, I am so freaking gregarious now. Look at me. I'm wearing this TFA Amy Kohler shirt that says bitches get stuff done. And I didn't even notice. You know, and I, and, and I, I found this shirt today, and, and I thought about a skit, and, I, and then I looked up the skit on Saturday Night Live, and it actually said, bitches get shit done. And then I thought, you know, if these shirt people had done a shirt for Dr. Dre's song, it would be bitches and stuff, and that wouldn't be such an awesome song. Um, but anyway, so uh, I broke up with a girl, but I did get a, uh, a, a pretty fun song out of it. Um, about being generous in bed. All right, beautiful, I'll take your report. All point and on the pillow, notebook on the sheets. I've been writing letters to Grandma Three straight weeks. Grandma, how's the garden growing? How's the milk burrowing? I've been trying Kathy's plan, but there's still no girl. The last time Kathy came over, she ate her pizza cold. She said, it's okay, darling. So we went out and bowled. She rolled a strap, missed my spare. She said, it's okay, darling. One day you'll get there. One day I'll know exactly what to do. One day the girl will want to stay. One day I'm going to be good. Former stray cats from the foot to the door. They purr on the comforter, but they don't comfort me anymore. It's not that I'm allergic, even though I am. It's a sound that Kathy never made when we listened to Wham. One day I'll know exactly what to do. One day the girl want to stay one day I'm going to be good Kathy says a gentleman would never tell but I've been good in bed for three straight weeks Kathy says a gentleman would never ring his own bell, but I've been good, so good, so good. If you see Kathy, tell her that I say hello. Thanks for the good advice 
94 Merlot. Tell her I'm so much better. Tell her I'm great. But be discreet about it. Don't exaggerate. One day I'll know exactly what to do. One day the girl will want to stay. One day I'm going to be Tri-State area. I, I, every time I've been there, people have listened and they've gotten the songs. You guys got that, right? It was, it was pretty subtle. I love writing these like subtly R-rated songs that aren't really R-rated. You had a question. Yeah, what was that about? What was that? <laughs> um, it's about a dude and uh, you know giving the charity every morning, you know, from his iPad and stuff, because he's supposed to be good in bed. He checks out to like the ACLU, Amnesty International, trying to, you know, get better at that thing. He was an adequate app. Um, yeah, I had a, uh, I had an English teacher, junior year of high school, Mr. Malarski, he made me a good writer. But uh, junior year was tough because, you know, we we'd, we'd spent however many of our formative years in English class you know, reading a scarlet letter and learning all about symbolism. And Mr. Malarski refused to let us even use the word symbol in English class junior year. Everything had to be taken completely literally. We read crime and punishment, and we had to take it completely literally to, take, to pass that class. Man, Mr. Malarski made me a good writer. That was a tough year. Um, so, anyway, uh, thank you so much for listening. In a couple hours, I'll be flying back to St. Louis. Uh, so, I. I I flew in last night for this meeting, and so I'm staying at this hotel in, uh, in Frisco. And you, know, you walk into the hotel, and they've got this sign up, and it's one of those signs that's you know the most generic art you could put up in a hotel. It's one of those signs that says, you know, um, dance like nobody's watching, love like you've never been hurt. And you know, and, and I've seen these signs everywhere. You know, and, and, and you see like bed and breakfasts in old people's homes, and. Um, and the first thing I think of when I see one of these signs is, man, if nobody was watching, I'm such an awful dancer, and it makes me feel stupid. Dancing is the last thing I would do, even if there was nobody watching. And, and, I, and I'd seen enough of those signs, and I said, all right, screw it, I'm gonna write a song about this. And then this song just went to terrible places, kind of like the last one, and it turned into this subtly R-rated song about a guy who just doesn't get the situation. Um, so I'm gonna play it for you now, and, uh, and thanks for listening. Oh, and when I play this song in St. Louis, um, the, my, my neighborhood open mic, the one that I go to, it isn't actually in my neighborhood, but it's the only one that tolerates singer-songwriters. There's this guy named Marcel Toussaint, and he's French, and he's a poet, and every night he comes up and he reads some poetry. And I've started making this song more and more French for Marcel. Um, but I'm in Dallas, and I love the old 97s, and I love Rhett Miller, so I'm going to take the third verse, and I'm going to make it less French for Dallas. Um, and, uh, and this will explain why I'm going to count it off in French. Un, deux, trois, quatre. If there was nobody watching, dancing is the last thing I would do. Go find a nouveau French movie where they do things I couldn't do to you. And if I have never been hurt, I'd still be loving you the way I do today. Because when the bruise is outdated, it is just a choice we make. I am inhibited. My repertoire is limited. I don't need permission to go crazy on you. Now you guys may be thinking, why are you saying you don't need permission to go crazy on I me? Mean, I'll tell you. Because I was watching this video of Heart like from 1977 and they were playing crazy on you. And I was thinking about the chorus of that song, and I was thinking, man, if Ann Wilson was having me in bed, she asked for permission to go crazy on me, that would kind of wreck the mood. And it's like, that's a really non gregarious thing to do, Ann Wilson. So I could beat you and tennis, my forehand and my back and my serve. Pity the whipping you beg for. It's not my famous cherry cream or dirt. No, that you 
like to be tied down And I can do it in the most romantic way Tapas and rubies and puppies Come on baby, say the word I am inhibited My repertoire is limited Dirty in your ear. Too bad the minerals and vegetables. I thought of only made your smile appear. Now that I'm older, you think that I can mention procreation in song. But I know Stuart Ransom Miller. Guess I've had these reservations all along. I am inhibited. My repertoire is limited. Don't need permission to go crazy on you.